What's going on guys? Ebibs here, Mr. Remote Life. So I got a good one for you today. We are talking about internet. <clears throat> Alright, so um, I've been doing some live streams and stuff like that, but uh, check it out. This is what I got to do whenever I do a live stream. Yeah, so I stream out of a Mac and all I have to do is I have to run a cable across my floor, all the way across here into my network closet. plug into my wireless access point. Yeah, so the uh, the solution for that is gonna be um, Mocha. So what this is, is it's basically a coax with ethernet and it produces a 2.5 gigabit per second speed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test out what it is to do the wireless runs which we already know it's going to be fast but it's not going to be as fast as cable and wired so either way we're going to install this thing we're going to make sure it works first and come along for the ride let's go all right guys so what you got to do to uh, get this thing set up first thing you got to make sure you have is a digital coax cable so uh, it needs to have a print of rg6 on it and this is kind of like our little setup so you have coax to coax and then ethernet to ethernet on each end and make sure you power up the, plug up the power cord so first thing you have to do is according to the instructions is mainly IP your, your computer so you can log into these, these devices to make sure that you are setting them up right so uh, if you look here on the screen um, we've gone in we set our they use a 192.168 uh, address scheme uh, so just pick a number between uh, one and 253 because they address these actual devices to the top of the subnet which is 254 so it'll be 192.168.254.254 254. that's how you log into it so we'll go head over to our browser here and boom password is admin i'm sorry username is admin password is go coax it's all in the instructions it's all there uh, once you get into this thing you don't need to save it You go in and you uh, check device settings. Make sure the transmit power is correct. You can check the link rates. We are running Mocha 2.5. So everything should be lighting up green. So um, the first thing you want to do is you want to physically address this to your network scheme that you have running in your home. Uh, I am not running a 192.168 address, so uh, I'm going to put my address scheme in and we will uh, carry on. Um, also, I would go ahead and change the security settings uh, off of the admin password and go with something a little more secure, uh, something that you will remember but also uh, something that's not easily guessed, such as Go Coax. Um, so let's get that and then we run some speed tests. Quick switch over to the action camera. So one thing you make sure you want to have if you're doing this project is some Cat 6 laying around so you can uh, make you a custom, make you a custom uh, cable to jump from your switch to your Mocha. So here's my little setup. Uh, I need to address some of this cabling but that's going to be coming up in another issue or not another issue but another episode uh so stay tuned if you haven't already hit that subscribe button guys i digress <laughs> back to this um we already got the the go coax mounted we're going to use the in-house um coax because we are running rg6 in the house and that's cool so um that's what you need you need rg6 75 ohm cable for this to work make sure you tighten that tighten down your coax connection as, as tight as possible so what we're going to do is we're going to make this cable we're going to route it up to here plug it into our switch here and then we're going to close this box and we're going to go do something else all right so we're actually just going to work on the other end so check it out here we go
uh, coax outlet. We're gonna run around our cable to back here, plug into the Mac. So um, let's get that going. Same thing, we're gonna create a custom length uh, CAC6 cable. We got a pretty decent RG6 cable, so we don't really need to uh, cut anything there. So that's what we're gonna use. Let's do it. We'll finish hammering this out in the morning, but we're gonna plug it up right now. All right guys, so here is the moment of truth. We are testing our new speeds and here it is right here on the screen. So uh, this is a pre-Mocha uh, download and upload speeds that we had. And as you can see, it's ever increasing and going higher and higher. And what we have is we gained. So, um, that that really explains it and that tests the whole uh, thing because I actually did a jump. I don't know if you guys recognize when I came out of the wall, I, I went into another adapter to angle the cable down and then send it over. So that's a lot of times when you add jumps in your connections, you tend to lose, but this didn't lose. I guess because everything's tightened down to the to maximum torque that you could on a, a screw down uh, coax connection. But Mocha 2.0 works. Uh, we actually gain speed, so I can't wait till the, the next stream that we we run here. Actually, we might start running some streams on this channel, uh, just because we can. But now, no more running cables across the floor. We are all set and done. So I hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, guys. Got more stuff coming your way. We're doing a lot of things around the house. We got a lot more projects coming. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to do things that I can do. And uh, we taking charge of our lives because that's what the remote life is all about. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.